Hey guys, CP Modder here, back with another video. Today we're answering a question that has been going around the internet for quite a long time, and that is how often should I really change the thermal compound on my CPU? Now with thermal compounds getting a whole lot better in today's day and age, things are getting a lot more better, but the question still remains, does it really matter how often I change it? Now for testing today, we're gonna to be taking a look at different intervals in time to see really is there that much of a performance increase. Now for the test today, we obviously have this particular computer right here, which represents our older system being five years old without actually going ahead and having any thermal paste changed. We've also too got something like my Dell XPS 15, which represents our one year old PC. We also do have my server that represents something that is about two years old that still hasn't been changed. And also too, we have my old game gaming system which represents our three year old system. Each one of these systems have not been opened up for the certain amount of space so the XPS 15 hasn't had anything replaced for about one year and this guy hasn't been touched for about five. So we're going to be running Prime 95 to heat up our CPUs to get our baseline temps, change it out, see what we get and see whether there is really a performance increase. Now before we do go ahead and get started, all the coolers and heat sinks on the computers will be blown out with compressed air so that testing is the same across from it because a lot of the time when you do go ahead and remove the cooler to change your thermal paste, at the same time you go ahead and give your computer a bit of a clean out, which may result in better temperatures, not necessarily because of better thermal paste, but mainly because you've just given the computer a clean out. So all the systems have been cleaned out before we go ahead and get started. Now our thermal paste has all been set all the way back to this guy being Arctic Silver 5. I've been running this stuff for probably the past seven years, really probably even longer than that if I really think about it, and it has served me just fine. I was one of the original Arctic users and still use it to this day because I absolutely love it. So Arctic Silver 5 was used back in this guy right here, my laptop, desktops, and everything else. So it was relatively easy to go ahead and do this because well, we can go ahead and say everything was the same out of the box. And just for reference, I still have have this particular tube of Arctic Silver 5, which was the original guy that got put in this particular system right here. So five years on, I still have the tube and it's still got a little bit left in it. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into our first graph, which is running Prime 95 on the original stock thermal paste. And taking a look, our numbers are sort of to be expected. Do note the ambient temperatures of the room was about 25 to 27 degrees. And these are the numbers, and honestly, not half that bad. The next thing to do is obviously rip out these computers, pull out the old thermal paste, clean it down and put the new stuff on. I did use isopropyl alcohol to go ahead and wipe off all the old thermal paste to make sure the surfaces were clean and shiny. Same thing on the CPU and also to the cooler itself. I threw a new install of Arctic Silver 5 on all the systems, threw the coolers back on, put the computers back together and ran Prime 95 and boom, here are our numbers. And honestly, for the first one, two and three years, they didn't really see too much of a performance increase. However, when we we get to our five-year-old system, there is a tad more difference between the old five-year-old thermal compound and the new fresh stuff. However, at the end of the day, the performance difference between the five years and the brand new stuff is really, really, really minor in my particular case. Now do keep in mind that some thermal paste and some installs will vary depending on systems and it also do depends on how you originally install the thermal paste as to what kind of performance you'll be getting. Honestly, I wasn't really too surprised as at the end of the day, thermal paste in the past five years have definitely come a long way from where they were with things like Arctic Silver 5 being just as fresh when I took it out after five years as when I first put it in. There was no drying, there was no cracking or crumbling, everything was still a paste type of consistency. Do keep in mind though, if you are using a lot cheaper materials and the stuff that you can find on eBay, you probably want to be changing it every two to three years. However, changing it every year probably isn't necessary. So TLDR, basically change your thermal paste every every five or so years or just don't really worry as usually you'll be upgrading the system before you even need to worry about that. Also too, buy a decent cooler and keep it clean. A lot of the time the coolers are going to perform way better by actually just blowing them out with some compressed air than actually changing your thermal compound because there's going to be no dust on them. So do keep everything clean and you should be just fine. As for how often you should change it, I'll probably say the five years is a good time to change it or just whenever you do a PC upgrade is the best time to go ahead and change your thermal paste. And that's about it for this video. Quick little look into thermal paste and how often you should change it. And honestly, 
How often? Probably not that often. Guys, thanks for watching and do let me know down in the comment section whether you were expecting these types of results or were you expecting a bigger change. You can also too find Arctic Silver 5 and the cleaning solution or some isopropyl alcohol all linked down in the comment section, actually rather the description box, if you want to go ahead and update your thermal paste. Otherwise guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.